You making breakfast, Mac? What you making? Farm sausage. You already fried a bunch of eggs, too. Is these hungry squirrels, did you have eggs already? And yeah. hungry kitten. Oh, when you fed some to the kitten? Yeah. The kitten likes them. And what is Miss Rowan doing over here? She's been sitting up the whole time. <gasps> Are you just sitting up on your own? <laughs> can sit up. Can you sit up on your own now? We can. And you can sit up on your own too. Can you say dada? You said dada earlier. It started as a Sunday where we were getting ready to go to church, ended up with our pigs that got loose last night, were then kind of able to be corralled and I spent a bunch of time trying to catch them or lure them in and then the boys ended up getting them penned in in the barn, but they're not where they're supposed to be, so we can't go to church. So Marius is outside right now, we're tag teaming, I have soot on my forehead. I wanted to bring you outside with me for trying to lure the pigs, but it's raining and I didn't want my camera to get all wet. Did you have a nice nap? Anyhow, we're gonna put the electric fence back in the pig pen. Marius is filling holes to level out around the outskirts. And then I'm gonna reattach um, electric tape and Hopefully that will keep the pigs in. So, the boys are all dressed for church, but now they are doing some drawing because it was kind of a big change in plans. And I also thought I would show you what my house kind of looks like in a little bit of chaos right now because we don't do a lot of house cleaning on the weekend, especially Sunday, so it's kind of crazy. So there's just always stuff everywhere. Stuff under the table. Stuff in corners. Oh, someone drew there. I just loaded the dishwasher, so that's not bad. Look, there's garbage that needs to be taken out. Pot from making cheese. Random toys. There's always just random things all over the place. That quite often people shy away from showing, but you know what, guys? We live here. Yes, I would love my shelves to be all styled but realistically that's what they look like let me guess oh there's actually nothing on the stairs which is rare normally there's stuff all over the stairs and our entryway oh partially it's kind of dark because the lights burnt out and i haven't bought new bulbs but it's muddy because it's mud season and our mudroom is a pile of stuff as usual Oh look, there's a basket of laundry waiting to be put away. Just general disarray. You're hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Get some granola and milk? No. What would you like? Granola There's more granola and milk. No granola. Yeah, pretty sure there is. Open up the cupboard. Open it up the other one? Yeah. I saw it in there and I know you did too. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. I got gloves and an impact drill. Ugh, it's so gross out, guys. Um, normally I'd like to do like a time lapse of me working, but we're not gonna do that today because I don't want the camera to get rained on a bunch. But I'm just gonna show you what I'm about to do. My husband filled the holes in like 10 minutes and I'm pretty sure it would have taken me an hour. Sloppy. Especially in through here. Oh, the cows are climbing into the feeder. 
I'm afraid one of them's gonna just jump the fence. Cows, what are you doing? Ooh, we're getting rain on the lens already. Oh, beefers, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, so when the boys were doing their morning chores in which they bring in firewood and um, feed the weaned heifer silage, they saw the pigs in here with the bull calf, Jeffy. So they got them into here. Let's see, where are they? Oh, there they are, sleeping right there. So we blocked that hole with firewood and we gave them some fresh straw. This is kind of just like the cows go through here. Nobody hangs out in here. This is how we get the cow in for milking. But they're just chilling there. I was worried that they could get out here so we put this bathtub against here. It's ghetto redneck people. Anyhow, I'm glad they're just quietly sleeping. They ate and now I'm gonna go fix that electric. So right here, this is a solar powered electric fence charger. We'll see how it is in this sort of weather, but it is juicy. There's the grounding rod. There's some of the electric tape. So the last pigs we had, they tore it all off. I actually have to take this trough off here. But let's see if I can find one for you so I can show you. Those, that little black thing in the corner, the black plastic thing, and you can see it on the edge of there. Let's see if we can zoom in here for you. What I need to do is make sure they're all clear of dirt. And I might have to adjust where some are. That's why I have the screw gun. And um, then fish out the tape, the orange tape. It's all throughout this whole thing because the pigs ripped it off. Like I could see some right there. Our last pigs were brutal and they only went to butcher a couple weeks ago but I was scared to come in here even though we weren't using the electric fence anymore. I couldn't take it off because the pigs would have just attacked me. This pen, because of our weather, is just gross right now. But over here, whoa, it's in a hole. Where the pigs, oh, there's a bunch of feed in here because I was trying to lure them in, but they have a nice dry nest in this house here. So they have good dry space, just the rest of their pen is really mucky right now. So it's 20 after 10 right now, and my goal is to get this done by noon, and then I'm gonna crack open a can of homemade chicken broth, canned with chicken meat, boil it, throw in noodles for a quick chicken noodle soup, and then we're going to the pool. The kids don't know because we don't tell them this sort of thing in advance most of the time, because they'll just ask every five seconds, are we going yet, are we going yet, are we going yet? But that's Marius and I's goal, and my sister is gonna come and meet us there too, so that'll be fun and it'll just be it's a mucky day and we get to soak in the hot tub. We take turns with adults being in the pool with the kids and adults being in the hot tub and we are gonna need it after this. One little jink jink and the battery died. So I'm gonna hope that my husband has another battery. I'm pretty sure he has multiple. Let's hope it's charged so that I can still use this. Done? And. I rinsed off in a muddy puddle a bit, but I feel so gross, guys. It's all hooked up and the charger is working, but I don't know what sort of voltage is throwing out. So I'm actually gonna ask my sister to stop by with her voltage meter before we go to the pool so I can test it. Cause I don't wanna throw the pigs in there and turns out it's barely even pumping out juice because of all the dirt on the tape, but I can't really do anything about it. So I'm just fingers crossed, hoping it works. I got some scones already here in the basket. We got baby bottles, water bottles. We got a baby. We got a duffel bag full of everybody's swim gear. There's more scones that we can enjoy later. Okay, Freya, put on your shoes. Let's go. So 
It's actually 1.21 right now. But tell me, are you a leave it for six months till it's right again or figure out how to change the dang clock in the vehicle type person? You excited for the pool? So since it was dark when we got home, we decided to not move the pigs till the next day because they were safe where they were. I know next to nothing about electric fence and how to set up electric fencing. Everything I know I learned from my sister. So she came over with her voltmeter to check my job and make sure that it was working great and it was, yay me. So then we went over to where the pigs were locked up and she just jumped right in there. And considering I had been covered in pig poop multiple times this week already, I let her go for it. And I highly suggest you get an Anna in your life. She's a great sister and she's always up to jump in and help and get dirty. And pig poop is a special kind of love. After the pigs were all moved and safe in their pen, we needed to make sure that they actually touched the fence and knew what it was. So we watched for that, and I promise we're not mean. It's just your first reaction is to give a little giggle. 